Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. This week's scrapbook layout is a is is of a really lovely photo of my nan and my granddad. This was taken in the 1950s in Battersea Park in London. So my granddad is from London and this was when my nan moved to London to live with him in his um, home with his mum and dad and his 13 brothers and sisters. So she tells me some funny stories of her time when she lived in London and just how crazy that household was um, as you can imagine yeah 13 brothers and sisters that's amazing um, my mum was trying to work out how many cousins she had today and it is just crazy anyway on to the layout so this is using the lovely papers by Minte this is called Birdsong and these are available from Thompson's Craft Supplies. I'll share all the links below. I did share this paper pack in my What Did I Get This Week? And I know quite a few of you have already really enjoyed um, those papers and the rest of the collection. So I do encourage you to have a look at her website. She has really, really lovely papers and lots of other you know, brands as well. So go over and check that out. So I've decided to go for this really pretty layout. To be honest, this is very easy. It's a very quick video because most of the work is already done in the beautiful papers. So I've already got that lovely, you know, the bird and the flowers towards the top right hand side. And then down the bottom left there, I've got, you know, the same kind of image again. So I didn't need to do too much. So I've mounted my photo, which was already framed because I had it developed with the white frame. So I'm popping on some craft card and I'm just distressing the sides there with my distress tool. Now, the idea I've got in my head is I wanted there to be an explosion of glitter in the background because my nan loves sparkle. So I am just kind of roughly with a pencil, I just measured the area of where the photo would be. And then I'm just adding some paint and I'm just going to paint all the glue roughly how I want it to look like the, the glitter. Like I said, it's exploded behind the photo. So I'm using some of the Arteza. This is the turquoise fine glitter. It's a beautiful color and it worked so well with these papers. And you can see there as I tap it off, I start to get this. It looks a bit naff at the minute, but once it's all the photos on, it looks really nice. Um, and I just, yeah, it just, I wanted some sparkle. I wanted it to match the turquoise in the layout. And um, once this catches the light, you can see already, it just looks really, really nice. And once I start layering up on top of it, I just, I love it. So that was that bit. That was really nice and easy. And then in the paper pack, you get this kind of like, I guess they're like gift tags, little toppers. And I wanted to just fussy cut some of the butterflies and the flowers and stuff. So I've gone ahead. I haven't stuck them down, but you can see the butterflies towards the left hand side there. Now, because there's succulent flowers within the image, I've got this succulent dye from stamping up. I've had it for quite a while now. So I just die cut some of them and then lay them all up and you can see the flowers that I've created. So I kind of roughly had everything where I wanted and then I'm sticking it down with some of my gel glue there just to give it some dimension. And that sticks really well to the glitter. So I knew it wasn't going to come off. But I love the butterflies and um, yeah, I just thought it starts to come together really nicely. These are just some rhinestones or gemstones that I've got and I'm just sticking them into the centres of the flower. Again, these have, you know, got a real nice sparkle to them. So they, they work well with the glitter and um, yeah, just love the textures from them. Then I went and stamped using my Stampin' Up! label alphabet stamps. So I've stamped their Battersea Park and then 1950s. Um, and my nan actually always speaks of whenever she sees this photo. She also did say that her jacket, I, I want to say she said it was a really like bright blue colour. I can't remember. When Next time I speak to her, I need to ask her and I'm going to show her this layout in the video anyway. And then I've just done Beautiful London and then I've got All You Need Is Love. Uh, that one is You and Me So Happy Together in Full Bloom. And then that one is Forever and Ever so it's a, just a lovely any layout I do with my granddad is special because I never actually got to meet this wonderful man he died quite a while before I was born we lost him at a, uh, he was way 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 too young it's very sad anyway so I always like to do a layout because I feel like I'm a little bit closer to him it's just nice so now I just needed a little bit extra on the layout. So I'm bringing in some of these uh, leaves that I die cut. This was part of my Easter wreath and I had them all left over. So I don't use any Nouveau drops. That is the finished layout and I love it. I think it looks so nice. I think it really kind of, I don't know, just, yeah, just really works with the picture and what my nan tells me about that day. And I know that she's gonna absolutely love this. So you can see it now in its glory. Um, beautiful London, 1950s, Battersea Park. You can see all the fussy cut butterflies, the succulent flowers, 
and then those lovely little kind of subtitles. So I didn't do a main title for this. It kind of is, I guess the title is 1950s Battersea Park. And then I've just got all these lovely little words, but there you have it. So a nice quick one. Go check out Louise at Thompson's Craft Supplies. She's got awesome papers and I'll be back again on Monday with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.